This is a Stamina Necromancer bow build updated for High Isle and optimized for Battlegrounds. It's a well-rounded build with plenty of long-range damage and great survivability. It has speed, sustain, group support, all the bases are covered, plus it's just a fun build to play. The gear is Witch Knight's Defiance as a front bar set with a sharpened bow, Wretched Vitality as a back bar set with a powered greatsword, three pieces agility on the jewelry, and the Gaze of Sithis Mythic Helm. Five medium, one light, one heavy, three divines, four well fitted, and the jewelry is one infused with a recovery glyph, and two swift with weapon damage glyphs. For the skill bars, the offensive abilities are Venom Skull, Stalking Blast Bones, that's the Magicka Morph, Poison Injection, Magnum Shot for the Stun, and the Ballista Ultimate. And the defensive abilities are the Spirit Guardian, Resistant Flesh, Resolving Vigor, and the Reviving Barrier Ultimate. Also using Summoner's Armor and Forward Momentum, those are the two buffs I try to keep active at all times along with the Spirit Guardian. Also Forward Momentum gives me that Snare Immunity which is very nice. And I have Camo Hunter on the front bar for some extra passive damage. The reason for the Magicka Morph of Blast Bones is because it helps me with Stamina Sustain since it costs Magicka, that's just less stamina that I'm spending. Plus it actually deals a little bit more damage than the Stamina Morph. Uh, I am giving up that Major Defile, so there is a trade-off, but I do think it's a fair trade. And really, either morph is fine, whichever one you want to use is going to work out just fine, but I do prefer the Magicka Morph. The race is Wood Elf. We're using the Warrior Mundus Stone, Sugar Skulls for the food, and Tri-Stat Potions. Here's a look at the stats. I'll also put a UESP link in the description, so if you want to take a closer look at the build, you can do that there. I'm putting all points into Stamina, which puts my max Stamina at 30,000. Max health is 29,000. Max Magicka is 19,000. Stamina recovery is 2,900. Magicka recovery is 1,600. And health recovery is right at 1,000. We also have 5,300 weapon damage, 28% crit, and 6,600 penetration. For the defensive strategy, the most important thing is to be team-minded and prioritize support. If you support your teammates, they're going to be alive to support you in return, and everybody's going to be more successful that way. Keep your Spirit Guardian active at all times. That's going to be doing most of the healing for you. Use Resistant Flesh when you need an instant burst heal for yourself or for a teammate. Try to use Vigor preemptively, and try to save your Barrier Ultimate for team emergencies, like if you need to bail everyone out of an ult dump or something like that. If you just need to use it for yourself, that's fine, go right ahead, but try to save it for your teammates if you can. For the offensive combo, open with Poison Injection, then summon a Blast Bones, stun them with Magnum Shot, and spam the Venom Skull until Blast Bones lands. If your ultimate is ready, the best place to use that is right after summoning a Blast Bones and before stunning them with Magnum Shot. That way they're taking all that damage while they're stunned on the ground. Also, keep in mind that Blast Bones accounts for about 30% of your total damage, and Spirit Guardian accounts for about 40% of your total healing. And because of how pets work, neither of those are factored into your scoreboard numbers at the end. So if you find yourself disappointed with your numbers, just remember that 30% of your damage and 40% of your healing are missing. And that brings us to the end of the video. A special shout out to my good friend Uncle Sam, Stam Crow Main Extraordinaire. He gave me some tips for putting this build together, so thank you Sam. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to share, feel free to comment or email me at ketsparrowhawk at gmail.com. Until next time, good luck out there.